Upon loading up this year's Create and Renow mode, you'll be greeted with three categories to select before being able to apply customizations. Those are the stage, which you'd like to use, the size of the arena, which includes indoor and outdoor options, and the type of crowd. Starting with the stage, you'll have 20 preset designs to choose from, which are the same designs that were shown in the photo that was leaked a few months back. The available designs are last year's custom arena stage, Royal Rumble 98, Raw 97, Survivor Series 97, One Night Only, Over the Edge 98, King of the Ring, Summer Slam 98, Judgment Day 98, Survivor Series 98, Rock Bottom 98, St. Valentine's Day Massacre 99, WrestleMania 15, The Smackdown Oval Arena, Raw 2002, Judgment Day 2004, Summer Slam 2004, Smackdown 2006, Raw 2006, and a second custom stage design. When selecting one of the stages, you'll also have additional views available so you can view the stage from different angles before deciding if it's the one that you want. Once you've chosen your stage, it's time to move on to choosing the size of the arena, of which there are five options, three of which are indoor arenas, and those are regular, independent, and large arenas. There's also two outdoor arenas, which are Tribute the Troops and WrestleMania 9. The one disappointing thing here is that there wasn't the small high school gym option that had been mentioned, as all the arenas are still pretty big. Finally, the last option is to choose a current day or attitude era crowd, which, depending on your choice, will see the crowd in the arena turn up in shirts from either era. Once you have these options set, it's time to begin customising your arena, starting with the stage area that you previously selected. Now, I know IGN had previously said that you could, for example, paste in the SummerSlam logo in place of the Fist when speaking on the SmackDown Fist arena, however, this is not the case. The way that you customise the stages, aside from adding the standard logo designs, is by turning on or off certain stage elements, or by scrolling through some preset options, of which each stage had different elements available to customise, so you'll need to select the stage which best suits what you want to create. As an example, when editing the Smackdown Fist Arena, the options available are the Fist on or off, which is one of the stage specific options, which gives you the choice of removing the Fist, Titan Tron, which allows you to choose on or off for the Superstars entrance videos in the arena. Mini Tron, on or off, which allows you to choose whether or not to show Mini Trons in the stage. Wall, which allows you to remove the stage wall or select an alternate look. Stage on or off, which removes part of the staging or allows you to change the look of it. Stage Panel, which gives you the option to customise the lower sides of the stage at each side of the ramp and the ramp, which with this option you can change the colour of the ramp or choose to add designs to it, but there's no actual option to remove the ramp itself. You can also set the lighting, which gives you the option to change the lighting around the stage as well as the arena, so you can choose the ring light and switch it from the standard white light to green, blue, red, yellow, purple, orange, dark blue or another white light variant, of which there are 10 lighting options in total. Now a lot of these are specific to the Smackdown Fist Arena, but other stages will have different options, such as the Raw 2002 Arena in which you can change the look of the scaffolding at either side or above the stage, or you can simply remove the parts entirely. Moving on to the ring area, and this is exactly the same as last year, but there are new logos available in the Logos option, which says two WCW logos, ECW, SummerSlam 2000, Judgment Day, Raw 2002, Smackdown 2002, No Mercy, Backlash, Cyber Sunday, Taboo Tuesday, NWO and all WrestleMania logos including a locked WrestleMania logo placed after WrestleMania 28 which is likely to be next year's WrestleMania 29 logo. Finally, we'll also have new nameplates for all of the real world pay-per-views including both current and Attitude Era shows which accompany all of last year's custom nameplates giving you 50 nameplates to choose from.